Most people think that when they design twisty puzzles, they'll design it piece by piece. Um, I often see videos of people describing the mechanism of a puzzle that will be like, oh, this piece does this, this piece holds in this way, and they'll describe each individual piece of the twisty puzzle. Um, but really, you don't design puzzles piece by piece. Um, let's, let's just look at a basic Rubik's Cube mechanism. And so we got the core here. Right? Oops. It's got our stationary core, it's got the rotating centers. Um, so the translating pieces basically need to be held in. So how do they hold in? Um, obviously, most of you are probably familiar with mechanisms like that. It's hard to see with contrast, but basically hooks under two centers. Each piece needs to be under at least two centers like that. Um, you put in another one like that, and you put it in the corner, and the corner, when you look at the corner, hooks into the edges around it. It's not really touching the center. Um, this, however, isn't very important for the design because we're not designing the pieces. Notice something interesting. When I assemble just the middle layer of a 3x3, three three, like I did here, you have kind of a surface here, and the surface is flat there, goes in a little, and now there's a circle. We're going to be designing the surface of puzzles. We're not designing the pieces. We're, des we're designing where there's no pieces. We're designing the separation between the pieces. Um, so you design this circle here. You design this. That concept is very important to know. We call this a cross-section. The cross-section of a cube is basically if you were to take the puzzle, it could be any puzzle, and split it exactly halfway down the middle. And what you see is the cross-section. And this basically is all the information you need for the entire puzzle. 